Welcome back to Carolina News. I'm Chase Burley here with your sports. If you're a Gamecock fan, you probably had a pretty tough weekend. Since we left you on Thursday, the men's basketball team likely played their last game of the season, losing by 17 points in the first round of the SEC tournament. The softball team was swept by Arkansas in the first weekend of conference play, and the baseball team lost their first games of the season, dropping all three games of the series to Texas. But thankfully, it wasn't all bad news this weekend. The beach volleyball team had a perfect weekend in their first home tournament, taking two wins without dropping a single set, and the women's golf team won their third tournament of the year at the Augusta Invitational, lighting up the capstone building garden in their honor. Switching gears from college to pro, it came as no surprise, but New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew, B Drew Brees has officially announced his retirement from the NFL. He took to Instagram yesterday and made the announcement with the help of his four kids. After 15 years in the Saints and 20 years in the NFL, our dad is finally going to retire. So, so we, we can, can spend more time with us. Yay! Breeze retires as the league's all-time leader in passing yards with over, with over 80,000 and as the leading scorer in touchdown passes with 571. He's leaving the league having led the Saints to nine playoffs in 15 years with one Super Bowl win and an MVP trophy. Last night was Selection Sunday for the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. The field of 68 teams is officially set, but the big story this year is which teams are not in the tournament. This is the first time since 1976 that powerhouse basketball schools Duke and Kentucky aren't in the tournament. Without those two schools, the Gonzaga Bulldogs are the team to beat this year. They're coming into the tournament as the number one overall seed and undefeated on the season. To see if your team made it to the tourney, you can check out the full bracket on ESPN.com. Finally today for sports, check this out. Go deep. You gotta go. Keep going. That is football star Tom Brady playing a game of catch with soccer star David Beckham on a beach in Miami. The Tampa Bay quarterback seems to be living it up this offseason and enjoying some warm weather down in Florida, which is a stark contrast to the snow he's probably used to in New England. So what do you guys think? Where would you play with Tom Brady, New England or Miami? Well, me and Ray have been going back and forth on this since we've known each other, and that's been like, what, two months? Sure. I say I'm a huge fan of playing in the snow because if you see someone fall, it's just absolutely hilarious. Uh, yeah, but Dylan, I'd rather be able to feel my hand so I could actually catch the ball. So, yeah, that's my opinion. I don't know. Well, then I'm not passing to you. <laughs>